Today we're going to talk about relating planar or plane figures, two-dimensional figures, and solid figures or three-dimensional figures. So the directions say select all the objects that could be used to trace a triangle. I have a triangle here. The triangle can go the other way too. We're more concerned about the shape itself than which way it's facing. So first I have a cube. A cube is made from all the same shape. They're all made from squares. So I can't get a triangle out of that. Next we have a pyramid. A pyramid, I see a triangle. So if I put this on a piece of paper, I could trace a triangle. Last, I have a rectangular prism, but that's made of rectangles and squares. So can I trace any sides of that to make a triangle? Nope. Next, we have to select all objects that could be used to trace a rectangle. I see two that we could use. I hope you said the rectangular prism, the green solid figure, because you can see the rectangle right on it. And same for the triangular prism, because that has a rectangle right on it. Another rectangle. Try this one on your own. Here's a hint. There are only two. I know you can do it. I hope you picked those two. Great job. Next, we want to trace a square. What could work for the square? We know a cube can work. We know this prism can't work. And can this base of the pyramid work? We can't see it, but could it work? Right here. This one is a little challenging. It was only the cube. Next, we have a triangle. And like I said before, it doesn't matter which way the triangle is going. I see two answers that would work. First, I know the pyramid would work. That means either the cylinder or the cone would work. If I lay this cylinder down and I trace around it, I am not getting a triangle, I'm getting a rectangle. But if I take the cone and I put it flat so that the, circu the circular end is facing you, I would trace a triangle. That means the pyramid and the cone are the two that could be used to trace a triangle. Next, we have a rectangle. Do we know that the cylinder will work? We do, we just did it in the last problem. Let's skip the pyramid for now. This is a different looking pyramid. Let's go to the rectangular prism. Will that work as well? Yes, it has a rectangle right on it. But what about this guy that we skipped in the middle? Now I only see triangles, but what about the base, the bottom side that would be touching the ground? Do you think that it could make a rectangle? I think it can too. So all three of these items can be used to trace a rectangle. Nice job. Next, we need to make a rectangle. 
Here's a hint. There are only two answers. If you get stuck on one, skip that object and come back to it. For example, this one might be a little bit of a challenge, so I'm going to go to the next one. I see a rectangle right on there, so I know that's going to work. I also remember the base from the last problem where it used this exact pyramid was also a rectangle. So that tells me that can work. However, I don't think that this first one works. I think the base of that one is only a triangle, which means my two answers I have selected. Next, I need to make a rectangle. Which can I use to make a rectangle? I have a cube, I have a rectangular prism, and I have a triangular prism. We know the cube won't work because it uses what shape? Squares. But I know these next two have rectangles. I can see them right away. Next up, we have triangle. And again, I'm going to draw the triangle the other way because again, we're worried about the shape, not the way it's facing. Which of these could be used laying flat to trace a triangle? Here's a hint, there's only one. And I hope you picked it, it is the cone. Last but not least, select all objects that can be used to trace a triangle. Do we know that the cone can work? Yes, from the last couple of problems. Can this prism work? No. Which two shapes do you see? I see a rectangle and a square, so that won't work. But last but not least, I see a triangle on the face of this pyramid. That means that's got to work. So we have our cone and our pyramid. Way to go. You rocked it. Keep up the great job and I'll see you next time.